I'm Michelle Quesada. Pharmacies are struggling to fill prescriptions to treat ADHD, one of the reasons for the shortage and the workarounds. This is what we have. Every day, Sal Sufan tries to fill an order for Adderall at his pharmacy. Let's say if there's a harm. 50 available. They're only allowed to get you one or two bottles. The supply is tight, the Federal Drug Administration says, due to, quote, ongoing intermittent manufacturing delays. Supply and demand, and they're not getting enough ingredients. It's causing patients who use Adderall for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder to turn to other stimulants. Since there's not enough Adderall, then the patients are being changed to other stimulants, which then is also causing an issue for the supply of other stimulants that we use for ADHD as well. Dr. Shannon Fox Levine, pediatrician at Palm Beach Pediatrics, says the focus and concentration these stimulants offer ADHD diagnosed patients is life changing. It's like a night or night and day type of situation when they're taking their medication versus not taking it. For children especially, she says teachers may notice a change in behavior if the child goes off the medication. And it's not ideal that the child misses their medication, but we do have the support from our you know, excellent teachers locally to be able to help the kids with their accommodations in the classroom setting if they are not able to get any medication. Dr. Fox Levine says so far she's had success sending patients to other pharmacies. And pharmacies get their supplies at, you know, different scheduled times. Sal says he's ordering more Ritalin, another stimulant used to treat ADHD, but supply issues are spreading to all stimulants. They're going to come to that problem too. Um, the supply, the, the demand is going to be higher than the supply and they're going to run into this problem. There may be a light at the end of the tunnel after all. Here at West Palm Pharmacy, the owner says his vendor says the shortage issues with Adderall specifically may be resolved in the next month or so. In West Palm Beach, Michelle Quesada, WPTV News Channel 5.